However, the black shadow changed his tone. Hao Ming looked up at him expectantly. The Chan school is preparing to hold an immortal talent meeting in Kunlun. All the immortals below a million years old can participate. You can go and try. Whatever fortuitous encounter you can obtain will be up to you. However, you have to return after the meeting ends. Otherwise, our ties as master and disciple will be severed. Han Ming was pleasantly surprised and quickly thanked him. He had been here for more than 3,000 years, ever since his mind was fully developed. He had never been anywhere else, not even to see his parents. He had been waiting for a chance to go out. I won't let master down. Han Ming promised excitedly. The black shadow nodded slightly and prepared to leave. Han Ming hurriedly asked, Will my brother go? The black shadow said meaningfully, He won't go. Don't think about him all day. The difference between the two of you is too great. Even if you want to acknowledge him as your elder brother now, he won't acknowledge you. He doesn't even know of your existence. You're both children abandoned by your parents. At least, you still have me to take care of you. He has always been alone. His heart can't contain family anymore. What you have to do is cultivate well and strive to be on par with him one day. With that, the black shadow dissipated on the arena. Han Ming frowned and clenched his fists. Ten years later, Han Zhu ended his cultivation and took out the Book of Misfortune to curse the enemy while checking his emails. Your good friend Ji Xianshan has left the netherworld. Your good friend Huang Ji Hao was attacked by disciples of the GS school, X59308. Your grand disciple Fang Liang was attacked by demons, X243376. Your Dao companion Xian Qing Jun has entered the GS school's mystic realm. Your good friend Primordial Chaos Heavenly Devil was attacked by your enemy Heavenly Dao Buddha. Your good friendly Dao Kong was attacked by your enemy Demon Emperor. Your good friend Divine General has reconstructed his body and comprehended the Heavenly Dao. His cultivation has increased greatly. The Heavenly Court fought with the Demon Court again. There was really no end to it. Among the disciples of the Hidden Sect, only Fang Liang was still wandering in the Heavenly Court. Han Zhu couldn't call him back now as it would seem as if he wanted to abandon the Heavenly Court. Han Zhu looked down and didn't see anything major for the time being. The immeasurable calamity might last for 10,000 years. It would be very difficult for the Heavenly Court and the Demon Court to enter a battle to the death within a few hundred years. All the forces grew while fighting and used the name of the battle to devour the other small forces. Just like the Demon Court, they had fought all the way to the netherworld. Just as Hanju was reading the emails, an angry shout suddenly sounded like a bolt from the blue. I'm the Heavenly God General of the Heavenly Court. I want to seize the title of the number one war god in the immortal world. I will guard the Heavenly River. Anyone who is not convinced can challenge me. If you defeat me, you will obtain all my dermic powers, dharma treasures, and the great providence of the Heavenly Tao. Under the judgment of the Heavenly Tao, if no one can defeat me in a thousand years, I will be the strongest war god in the world. This voice was extremely domineering and shocking. Even Hanju was shocked. A terrifying boom erupted. Hanju suddenly looked up, his gaze piercing through Hidden Sept Island and seeing the sky of the netherworld. What did he see? He actually saw the sky being pierced by a huge spear tip. In front of this spear tip, everything in the netherworld seemed tiny. It was larger than anything Hanju had ever seen. Just the tip of the spear was already so huge. How terrifying was this spear? Hanju was shocked, and so were all the hidden sect disciples. What's that? That's the Heavenly God General's divine weapon. This arrogant Heavenly God General. He does have the right to be arrogant. The immortal world is going to be lively now. Is he out of his mind to attract hatred towards Heavenly Court? No, it's the immeasurable calamity now. The Heavenly Tao can be summoned. He already said to let the Heavenly Tao witness this. If no one defeats him in a thousand years, he will obtain the providence of the War God. 
in the myriad worlds, the providence of all existences who call themselves the war god or have the title of war god will go to him. The Black Hell Demon Lord also joined the discussion and analyzed the reason for the Heavenly God General's actions. Everyone looked at Moronchi. Moronchi was also known as the War God. The Heavenly God General's actions would undoubtedly threaten him. Moronchi smiled helplessly. Don't look at me. At most, I'll give up the providence of the War God. I can't be considered a War God in this life, anyway. TSK TSK, the Heavenly God General is deliberately targeting the Divine Palace. They have many War Gods. Su Chi asked in surprise, aren't the Heavenly Court and the Divine Palace allies? After returning with Murong Chi, he had been in seclusion most of the time and was rarely disturbed like today. The relationship between the four overlords of the immortal world is always changing. You can't believe them. The Black Hell Demon Lord shook his head. Liao asked curiously, if the Heavenly God General gambles on the providence of the War God, can others also gamble on other providence? For example, directly gambling on the word immortal. Can he seize the providence of all living beings in the immortal world like that? Everyone looked at her. This woman usually kept a low profile. They didn't expect her to be so daring. The Black Hell Demon Lord rolled his eyes and said angrily, Who dares? Even the Heavenly Emperor and the Demon Emperor don't dare to. Whoever dares to do this is courting death. Liao smiled in embarrassment. Indeed, she had not considered this deeply enough. Duan Hongchen stood behind and rubbed his chin in deep thought. Inside the Khanate cave abode. Hanju also eavesdropped on the Black Hell Demon Lord's explanation. He was secretly anxious. The Heavenly Court was courting death. The hunter would shoot the bird that stuck out. It was no wonder they would be defeated in the immeasurable calamity. Oh, Heavenly Emperor, how can I save you? Hanju had no choice but to take out the Heavenly Dao token and contact Di Tai Bai. Soon, his divine sense connected. You're also here to ask about the Heavenly God General? Di Tai Bai asked with a smile. It seemed that more than one person was looking for him. Hanju said, yes, isn't this too much arrogance? Don't worry. The Heavenly Court and the Buddhist sect have already completely formed an alliance and are in charge of the Divine Investiture Board. Previously, the Demon Court attacked the Heavenly Court and the Divine Palace ignored them despite being an ally. It's just nice to start with them and fight the Demon Court again. Can the Buddhist sect be trusted? The Heavenly Tao Buddha personally came to talk to His Majesty. This matter has already been announced to the immortal world. If the Buddhist sect reneges, who would dare to believe in them in the future? Fine. Hanju frowned even harder. He felt uneasy after putting down the Heavenly Tao token. The Heavenly Tao Buddha really knew how to scheme. At this moment, Hanju began to hesitate, not knowing if he should curse the Heavenly Tao Buddha. If he cursed him to death and the Buddhist sect fell into chaos, would the Heavenly Court suffer as well? Strange. Why would the Heavenly Tao Buddha dare to ally with the Heavenly Court at all costs? Wait! Could it be that the Dark Forbidden Lord didn't curse the Heavenly Court, so the Heavenly Tao Buddha dared to do this? Right! He almost forgot. What if someone followed the traces in the Heavenly Court and found him? Han Zhu immediately took out the Book of Misfortune and started cursing the Heavenly Emperor. He was only pretending now, it did not mean that he was enemies with him. He would curse for just one day. After this act, he would not do it again. Han Zhu apologized silently. Oh, Heavenly Emperor, don't panic. I'm just acting. I won't curse you until something goes wrong. Heavenly Court. In the Numinous Palace, the gods and immortals gathered. The Heavenly Emperor suddenly frowned and circulated his energy to resist the mysterious curse. Di Tai Bai noticed the change in his expression and asked in surprise, Your Majesty, what's wrong? The immortals also looked at him. Anger flashed in the Heavenly Emperor's eyes as he said in a low voice, Someone is cursing me. I've deduced a book. It should be the Dark Forbidden Lord. Whoosh! The gods and immortals in the Numinous Palace were shocked. 
the dark forbidden lord had finally targeted the heavenly court? A literature immortal immediately jumped out and sighed. I knew it. The heavenly god general was too ostentatious. He has angered the dark forbidden lord. In the future, we will definitely be cursed as well. With that said, other literature immortals immediately denounced the heavenly god general. The ones on the heavenly god general's side joined the commotion. Enough! The heavenly emperor suddenly spoke with a dignified voice that immediately stunned the group of gods. Just the dark forbidden lord has frightened you so much? In my opinion, the dark forbidden lord is definitely not strong. Otherwise, he wouldn't need to hide in the dark at all. His curse power can't threaten me. The heavenly emperor snorted. He was furious. These immortals and gods were good at managing people, but when faced with threats, they would always panic. This was unlike the divine palace and the demon court, which were all warlike. The matter of the heavenly god general has been settled. Next, Kunlun will hold an immortal talent meeting. All living beings under a million years old can participate. You can send disciples and descendants to participate and win honor for the heavenly court. Hearing the heavenly emperor's instructions, the topic changed, and the numinous palace became noisy again. The heavenly emperor sighed in his heart. Two hours later, the gods and immortals had already dispersed, only D. Taibai was left in the hall. The heavenly emperor asked, How's Hanju's situation? Was he contacting you earlier? D. Taibai smiled. He should be fine. He's quite concerned about the heavenly court. Humph, I didn't take care of him for nothing. I don't know where this kid has been hiding recently. I can't even deduce where he is. Your majesty, there's no need to worry. The netherworld is outside the five elements and is mostly unfathomable. He's probably hiding. With his personality, he won't let himself be in danger. That's true. At the mention of Hanju, the heavenly emperor couldn't help but smile. Until today, the other factions had not discovered that there was such a peerless genius hidden in the heavenly court. What would happen when Hanju grew up? D. Taibai said worriedly, Your Majesty, now that we are getting more dissociated from Hanju, when he grows up, will he still listen to the heavenly court? I heard that he established the hidden sect, does he have any ambitions? The heavenly emperor smiled. Don't worry. If he had ambitions, he wouldn't have chosen the name hidden for his sect. This child is afraid of trouble. I've asked Morong Chi and Fang Liang. He rarely disciplines his disciples and only has one rule to not go out and cause trouble. This kid's greatest ambition is to continue living. When he truly grows up, he won't forget the kindness the heavenly court has shown him. The stronger the heavenly court is, the more he can cultivate in peace. This child's killing methods are very strong. D. Taibai nodded. Previously, the great freedom golden crow divine emperor died in the netherworld. Could it be related to Hanju? D. Taibai asked. The heavenly emperor said, after I learned of this, I asked Li Daokong to help. Perhaps he killed the great freedom golden crow divine emperor. However, don't spread this news lest it causes unnecessary trouble. Li Daokong? D. Taibai was secretly shocked and hurriedly agreed. Then, he changed the topic. After cursing the heavenly emperor for a day, Han Zhu immediately put down the book of misfortune. He was also afraid that cursing the heavenly emperor would cause problems. He called Morong Chi in and brainwashed him, hoping that he wouldn't challenge the heavenly god general. Morong Chi was no longer the same as his previous life. He smiled and promised, Don't worry, Grand Master. It's good to stay on Hidden Sect Island. I can use the simulation trial to fight. As for the War God's superficial reputation, I'll fight for it next time. His tone was full of confidence. He might not be able to fight for the Providence now, but as long as he lived until the next calamity, he would definitely be a mighty figure in the world. He could do anything then. Hanju nodded in satisfaction. Currently, only Fang Liang and Long Hao are outside the hidden sect. There can't be any more. If you discover that anyone has the intention to go out, 
help persuade them. Grandmaster trusts you the most because you're the most mature. I won't let Grandmaster down. Morong Chi was in a good mood when he left. He didn't expect Grandmaster to think so highly of him. Han Zhu wasn't lying. Among the disciples, he liked Morong Chi the most. Morong Chi had the bearing of a general. When Han Zhu transcended everything, Morong Chi could carry the banner of the hidden sect. Then, Han Zhu continued cultivating. The Heavenly God General's declaration of war would definitely cause the calamity to stir even more fiercely. He had to hurry up and become stronger. He had a feeling that one day, the calamity would threaten him, and he wouldn't be able to hide. What Han Zhu wanted to do was to accumulate his strength and resist all the enemies who came to attack. Time passed like a white horse passing through a crack. Spring passed and autumn came, never to return. Thirty years passed very quickly. The reroll world had already changed. Han Zhu put down the Book of Misfortune and started to deduce Yang Tiandong. Yang Tiandong had already reincarnated a few times. His potential in his first life was not bad, but his personality was too reckless. He was beaten to death as soon as he reached adulthood. After that, Meng Pa didn't take special care of him, causing his reincarnation potential to become average. In this life, Yang Tiandong became a young general of the mortal world dynasty. He made many contributions, but his achievements were too great. He was plotted against by the emperor, who found an excuse to execute his entire family. He was also imprisoned and was waiting for the day of execution. Han Zhu didn't feel heartache. This was all fate. Some things were difficult to change even if one reincarnated. Yang Tiandong's ambitions were deeply rooted in his soul. It would be difficult to change them no matter how many times he reincarnated. Han Zhu didn't interfere. So what if he died? He could just continue to reincarnate. Han Zhu would fetch him back after Yang Tiandong truly gained enlightenment. In his opinion, the life and death of the mortal world was a form of training. Yang Tiandong's pain was only in the present. Looking at the boundless great Tao, it was not enough. Then, Han Zhu closed his eyes and continued cultivating. For years later, the yellow spring stirred again. This time, everyone from the hidden sect heard wails. Duan Hongshan frowned. Oh no, could it be that the Nine Nether Purgatory is about to open? Nine Nether Purgatory? Everyone looked at him. Duan Hongshan took a deep breath and said, After I perished in my previous life, my soul was suppressed under the yellow spring along with the negative karma. There was also a terrifying world hidden under the yellow spring, and that was the Nine Nether Purgatory. Inside it is hidden the supreme experts of various eras who have perished. I'm nothing compared to them. I only escaped because I sensed the heavenly Tao. Strange, what's with them? The Black Hell Demon Lord asked carefully, How strong is the strongest existence in the Nine Nether Purgatory? Duan Hongshan glanced at him and said, Actually, I'm not sure. But I know a Zenith Heaven, a genuine Zenith Heaven mighty figure. Zenith Heaven. Everyone was shocked. Zenith Heaven was already a legend in the immortal world. There seemed to be no Zenith Heaven on the surface. He didn't expect that a Zenith Heaven was actually hidden in the netherworld. In the Khanate Cave abode, Hanju checked the strongest person around the reroll world. Shue Mingyi, Cultivation Unknown, Nine Nether Emperor. Hanju was shocked. Unknown Cultivation Level. Deity Realm or Zenith Heaven? All right, I'll do my best, Huang Zuntian replied. Although he was extremely unwilling, he didn't dare to go against the White Crane's will. The White Crane nodded in satisfaction. Work hard. I still think highly of you. Huang Zuntian hurriedly bowed. After the White Crane left, he clutched the scroll in his hand. Why can't you cultivate diligently like your seniors and not cause trouble or show off? You've clearly suffered greatly. Is there something wrong with your brains? Huang Zuntian ridiculed in his heart. How many years had it been since he became the island master? What nonsense was this? Sigh! Huang Zuntian fell into endless worry. 
It had been 20 years since they were attacked by the Nine Netherworld Dragon. Hanju's cultivation made progress again. As he became stronger, the speed at which the stellar primordial body devoured the 36th grade reincarnation world destruction Black Lotus became faster and faster. In addition, the Bujo Divine Flower was producing Kanate Chi, so his cultivation speed could be said to be steadily increasing. According to Hanju's estimations, he would probably break through to the rank 5 Immortal Emperor realm in 2 or 3. Was still considered stable. After the immeasurable calamity ended this time, reaching the deity realm was definitely guaranteed. As for higher realms, he still had to work harder. Of course, he had to be alive to achieve all these. Hanju chased Dao Comprehension Sword out and took out the Book of Misfortune to curse the Heavenly Dao Buddha. At the same time, he checked his emails. Your good friend Li Xianao was attacked by the Demon Race's Immortal Emperor, X187. Your good friend Li Xianao was attacked by the Demon Race's Mighty Figure, X6. Your good friend Huang Jihao was attacked by Demons, X376921. Your good friend Sword God Emperor was cursed by a mysterious curse. Your good friend Zhang Guxing was cursed by a mysterious curse. Your good friend Di Hongye was cursed by a mysterious curse. Your grand disciple Fang Liang has entered Kunlun. Your good friend Zhou Fan has entered Kunlun. Hanju raised his eyebrows. Many of his good friends had been cursed by a mysterious curse, and many had entered Kunlun. Something was wrong. Indeed, someone was pretending to be the Dark Forbidden Lord. What was going on with Kunlun? Why were there so many people heading to Kunlun during the immeasurable calamity? Furthermore, they were all people with average cultivation levels. It seemed like something big was about to happen. Hanju was secretly vigilant. A month later, he put down the Book of Misfortune and continued cultivating. More and more factions appeared and interfered with the immeasurable calamity. Apart from keeping a low profile, he had to hurry up and become stronger. Han Ming has a favorable impression of you. Current favorability, 1 star. Han Ju had just started cultivating when he saw this notification. He was stunned. Why did this kid suddenly have a favorable impression of him? Han Ju didn't think too much about it. He didn't want to acknowledge this younger brother at all. The reason why he didn't curse Han Ming was that he was afraid of being discovered by Immortal Emperor Samsara. The blue sky was filled with white clouds. Immortal cranes lined up in rows. From time to time, immortal birds, mounts, and various flying dharma treasures flew past. In the forest was a stone pavilion. There were three men in the pavilion. They were Fang Liang, Zhou Fan, and Mo Fu Zhou. The three of them sat around the stone table and drank. They began to talk about the past inside. We can join forces in this immortal talent meeting. After all, our foundation is too shallow. Zhou Fan suggested. Fang Yang smiled. I still haven't returned the favor from the last time you saved me. We naturally have to work together. Mo Fuzhou shook his head and smiled. Don't think like that. Actually, we didn't help at all. I'm ashamed. Fang Liang said, By the way, do you know the rules of this immortal talent meeting? Zhou Fan and Mo Fuzhou shook their heads. As the three of them chatted, cultivators flew past the forest. Their target was all Kunlun. Kunlun wasn't far from them, but they weren't in a hurry to go there. Zhou Fan said with anticipation, it's said that there's a way to achieve the Emperor Realm in this immortal talent meeting. I wonder if it's true. Mo Fuzhou smiled and said, I want to join the Chan school and avoid this calamity. Fang Yang smiled. He glanced at the man was walking forward. Fang Liang's pupils widened and he was stunned. Zhou Fan noticed his expression and couldn't help but look over. He was also stunned. Mo Fuzhou followed their gaze and asked in surprise, Brother Han? The man in black, who was advancing, seemed to have heard Mo Fuzhou's words and couldn't help but turn to look at them. Zhou Fan shook his head and laughed. Oh, we got the wrong person. Han Zhu is better looking than him. Fang Yang nodded. 
When the man in black heard that he suddenly flashed into the pavilion and asked in a low voice, Is the person you're talking about Hanju? The three of them were shocked and looked at him warily. Fang Yang drew his sword and asked in a low voice, Who are you? The black-robed man said coldly, I'm Han Ming. Han Ming? The three of them were stunned again. This name was too similar to Han Ju's name. The two of them also looked alike. Could it be? Humph, is Han Ju here? Han Ming snorted and asked. Anticipation flashed across his eyes. Ascend. Even if he did, he wouldn't come to such a grand event. He had yet to ascend? Han Ming frowned and asked in a low voice, What's his cultivation level now? Why isn't he ascending? Zhou Fan was unhappy with his tone and snorted. Who are you? Why are you asking about my brother Han's cultivation? Han Ming ignored him and stared at Fang Liang. You're his grand disciple? What sect are you from? Fang Liang did not answer. Han Ming frowned even harder. He was about to speak when a bell suddenly sounded, resounding through the world. The immortal talent meeting is about to begin. Those who arrive first will choose their spots. Fang Liang, Zhou Fan, and Mo Fuzhou immediately rushed out of the stone pavilion. Han Ming's expression changed slightly as he hurriedly caught up. They weren't the only ones. The immortals who were slowly advancing from all directions began to charge at full speed. Time passed quickly. Another ten years passed. Han Ju put down the Book of Misfortune and took out the Heavenly Dao token to contact Di Tai Bai. What has my disciple Long Hao and Grand Disciple Fang Liang been doing recently? Han Ju asked first. He had previously seen the two of them encounter all sorts of attacks. There were demons, cultivators, and even immemorial life forms. It seemed like the two of them should be together and were involved in the same danger. Di Tai Bai smiled and said, they went to the Immortal Talent Meeting. It's a grand event held by the Chan School in Kunlun. Don't worry, it's a fortuitous encounter. Nothing will happen to them. They will only become stronger. Immortal Talent Meeting? No wonder so many good friends had entered Kunlun recently. Han Ju asked curiously, what does the Chan School want to do? Isn't it the immeasurable calamity now? D. Tai Bai replied, the Chan school wants to form good relationships. No matter who wins or loses, they will owe karma to the Chan school. After all, the younger generation of the various factions has obtained the fortuitous encounters there. I see. Han Ju didn't know how to judge this method. By the way, aren't you in the netherworld? Be careful. The king of hell has announced his independence and drew a clear line with the heavenly court. If you are targeted by him, don't reveal your identity as a member of the heavenly court. Otherwise, you will attract even greater hatred. D. Tai Bai reminded. Han Ju wasn't surprised. The king of hell was so strong, he indeed had the qualification to be independent. D. Tai Bai sighed with emotion. The calamity this time is too chaotic. The various races have made an appearance together, and the situation is unknown. For the time being, I'm unable to see who will laugh until the end. Especially the Dark Forbidden Lord, whose forces are too enormous. More and more races and forces in the immortal world are claiming to be his subordinates. Xuan Mingyi's appearance made Han Ju very nervous. He was afraid that the other party would suddenly attack the hidden island. He immediately sent a voice transmission to everyone, making them hold their breaths and not speak. Actually, it was useless for him to do this. The Tao field could isolate the internal situation, including divine sense and voice. However, doing this would make him feel better. All the disciples were shocked, including the Black Hell Demon Lord and Duan Hongshan. A terrifying expert had really descended to make Han Ju so cautious. The Yellow Spring continued to surge as if something huge was about to break through the sea. At this moment... Piercing sounds came as figures emitting terrifying auras flew over. Among them was Xidagarba. The most eye-catching was a man in a black dragon robe. He had a pearl crown on his head and his face was covered in a beard. His eyes were dignified, 
and the aura he emitted was extremely oppressive. When Hanju saw him, he immediately checked the strongest person around the Dao field. King of Hell, Cultivation Unknown, Lord of the Underworld. The strongest person changed from Shu Mingyi to the King of Hell. Hanju heaved a sigh of relief. At the very least, the King of Hell was also the master of the Netherworld. He was more orthodox and should not harm the innocent for no reason. Since Shu Mingyi couldn't defeat him, he had to escape. Hanju silently looked forward to it. The King of Hell brought the Netherworld experts to the top of the Yellow Spring and looked down at the stormy sea. Shu Mingyi, if you don't behave, don't blame me for this. The King of Hell said angrily. As soon as he finished speaking, the surging wave stopped, and the world was filled with an oppressive aura. Hanju waited nervously. After a while, Shu Mingyi's voice sounded, King of Hell, the calamity is here. Doesn't the netherworld want to rise? Hearing this, the king of hell said expressionlessly, Could it be that you, a pitiful worm from the nine hells purgatory, can also help me? You've long been a failure of the immeasurable calamity and are just hanging on in the abyss. Shua Mingdi sneered. At least I dare to fight. What about you? The king of hell was silent. Oh! A blood-colored pillar of light shot out from the yellow spring and vanished into the horizon in the blink of an eye. The king of hell and the experts of the netherworld immediately chased after him. Even in the zenith heaven realm, they couldn't sense the existence of the Dao field unless the hidden sect island was exposed. Hanju heaved a sigh of relief. It seemed that the system upgrade was still very important. He would have been discovered if he hadn't leveled up earlier. Vigilant, Hanju checked the strongest person around Hidden Sect Island again. Nine Netherworld Dragon, Rank 8 Immortal Emperor, Prisoner of the Nine Nether Purgatory. Rank 8 Immortal Emperor. Shocked, Hanju hurriedly entered the simulation trial. A breath later, he opened his eyes. So close. Fortunately, he could kill it instantly. He continued to check. After confirming that there were no other experts around, he was relieved. I hope this long worm doesn't come looking for trouble. Otherwise, Hanju thought silently, his eyes filled with killing intent. Under the Fusong tree, Liao asked nervously, they left? Duan Hongchen nodded. The black hell demon lord's eyes narrowed as he said, there's another fellow under our island. He's very strong, much stronger than me. Everyone was shocked. The sea around Hidden Sect Island churned again, and the entire island also shook violently. Hanju probed down the island with his divine sense and saw a huge object. The dragon eye alone was dozens of kilometers in diameter. It was extremely terrifying. Nai Netherworld Dragon This fellow had already targeted Hidden Sect Island and was quietly approaching. Hanju frowned. He immediately covered Hidden Sect Island with his divine sense. This island was like the tip of a reef. He used his divine sense to push Hidden Sect Island away. The Nine Netherworld Dragon immediately caught up. I knew it! This fellow is really after Hidden Sect Island. Hanju sent a voice transmission, What are you doing? What am I doing? Of course, I'm going to eat. You! The Nine Netherworld Dragon's laughter was wild and cruel as if it had already taken over Hidden Sect Island. Really? Of course. Hanju immediately disappeared into the cave. Oh! All the Hidden Sect disciples heard a deafening explosion. The entire Hidden Sect Island was sent flying everyone was shocked. What happened? At this moment, Hidden Sect Island quickly landed on the Yellow Spring. Then, it quickly slipped away, covering 10 million kilometers in a flash. The Black Hell Demon Lord said in shock, That fellow's aura is gone. Hanju's voice sounded, It's dead. The Black Hell Demon Lord was shocked. Duan Hongchen was also shocked. The other disciples heaved a sigh of relief. They weren't too shocked. In front of Hanju, any enemy could be insta-killed. The hidden sect island continued forward. After an hour, Hanju finally made the island stop. 
he walked out of the Khanate cave abode and said, Black Hell Phoenix, Chaotic Heavenly Dog, Golden Crow, Three-Headed W.Y.R.M. King, come here. He came to the mountains and rivers and waved his right hand, releasing the Nine Netherworld Dragon's corpse. The Nine Netherworld Dragon was a black dragon with longer scales. It seemed to be covered in spikes, looking sinister and terrifying everyone from the hidden sect flew over. They were stunned when they saw the Nine Netherworld Dragon's huge corpse. What dragon is this? The mysterious expert that the Black Hell Demon Lord mentioned just now? This dragon looks so strange. Does Grandmaster want them to eat it? Definitely. The Black Hell Chicken ran here at the fastest speed. Everyone exclaimed. Without needing Hanju to say anything, the people he named had already pounced on the Nine Netherworld Dragon's corpse and started to devour it. The Nine Netherworld Dragon's body had already been compressed by Hanju. Otherwise, Hidden Sect Island wouldn't be able to contain it. Hanju watched the gruesome scene in front of him. He didn't feel any discomfort. Instead, he was looking forward to it. Could the body of a rank 8 immortal emperor make these people stronger? The others were also curious. Tu Linga looked at Dao Comprehension Sword and clicked her tongue in wonder. These guys usually look quite obedient. I didn't expect them to be so savage. Dao Comprehension Sword nodded and said with lingering fear, Yes, we have to be careful of them in the future. Not long after, the three-headed WYRM king fell to the ground. His entire body twitched, and blood flowed from his seven apertures. He couldn't withstand the flesh and blood of a rank 8 immortal emperor. Han Ju immediately appeared beside him and used his dermic powers to heal his body. The others were in a better state. Their bloodlines weren't simple. They weren't as weak as the three-headed WYRM king. After recovering from his injuries, the three-headed WYRM king continued to eat the nine netherworld dragon's body. The great banquet lasted for several hours. The seven black hell phoenixes, the black hell chicken, the chaotic heavenly dog, Ada, Shao Er, and the three-headed WYRM king benefited greatly, and their bloodlines became even stronger. After confirming that they were fine, Hanju returned to the Khanate cave abode to continue cultivating. This netherworld is not peaceful anymore. Hanju thought in distress. Should he choose another location? He hesitated for a long time and then decided to forget it. He couldn't find a place to go even if he changed locations. He might as well wait. He would take action when the netherworld was truly in chaos. Over the immortal world, Golden Crab Island. Inside the Daoist temple. Huang Zuantian knelt on the ground and raised his hands to take the scroll in the white crane's mouth. The white crane said meaningfully, this immortal talent meeting is a good opportunity. Don't disappoint me. Huang Zuantian looked very excited, but he was bitter inside. Why was there trouble again? Huang Zuantian looked up and asked, how's the relationship between the Jie school and our Chan school? The white crane said, don't ask what you shouldn't know. The Immortal Talent Meeting will likely decide the future of the immeasurable calamity. If you don't obtain a good fortuitous encounter, your position as the Island Master will be replaced. It just so happens that many disciples aren't convinced by you. <gasps> Hanju was confused. What the heck? When did I have so many subordinates? Hanju was furious. Someone was stirring trouble with his name. Hanju subconsciously wanted to ask which forces they were and prepared to curse them one by one. But on second thought, no. If he asked, it would appear that he was very concerned about the Dark Forbidden Lord, and his identity would be exposed. Besides, he didn't care about the Dark Forbidden Lord's identity. Oh no, I'm getting a little carried away. No, I can't do this. Hanju became vigilant and asked. Who is the Dark Forbidden Lord? A legendary Zenith Heaven Mighty figure? D. Taibai replied, very likely. Even the Heavenly Emperor and the Heavenly Dao Buddha are cursed by him. We can't deduce any clues about him. That's good. Since you think it's a Zenith Heaven, you definitely won't suspect me. Hanju was satisfied. 
The two of them chatted for a while more before he put down the heavenly Tao token. Han Ju felt uncomfortable no matter how he thought about it. Although he kept telling himself that he was misunderstood as the Dark Forbidden Lord, he was still very unhappy that someone was pretending to be him. No! Han Ju decided to use the derivation function. I want to know who is pretending to be the Dark Forbidden Lord. Han Ju thought. 80 million years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Only 80 million? Han Ju smiled disdainfully and cursed. Damned dog, how dare you mess with me? I'll find you now. Han Ju chose to continue. Then, he felt the world spin. Soon, he opened his eyes and discovered that he was above the sky. In front of him was a beautiful imperial garden. There was a stone pavilion in the garden. The heavenly emperor said expressionlessly, Recently, the reputation of the dark forbidden lord has spread. I've decided to use his name to rope in some ancient races and disrupt the situation of the calamity, making the demon court no longer dare to act recklessly. I'll leave this matter to you. In front of the heavenly emperor stood a black-robed man. His body was like smoke, and his true appearance could not be seen. The black-robed man cupped his fists. Han Ju! The surrounding scene shattered. Han Ju returned to the Khanate cave abode and clutched his chest. Holy shit! The heavenly emperor is messing with me! Han Ju almost vomited blood. He didn't expect the heavenly emperor to be the mastermind. Most importantly, he had wasted 80 million years of his lifespan. The heavenly emperor treated him so well, so he naturally could not curse him. Not just anyone could play the game of the myriad worlds. Han Ju was glad that he didn't enter the calamity. Otherwise, he might have been killed. He had thought that the Heavenly Emperor had been fooled by the Heavenly Dao Buddha. He didn't expect him to have his own plans. If not for the system, Han Ju would never have thought that the Heavenly Emperor was pretending to be the Dark Forbidden Lord. Since I've wasted 80 million years of my lifespan, I can't waste it for nothing. Otherwise, it'll be difficult for me to enter a meditative state in the future. Han Ju decided to deduce again. I want to know who Immortal Emperor Samsara is. Han Ju thought silently. Currently, he still didn't know the origins of Immortal Emperor Samsara or his goal. 50 million years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue. Han Ju felt dizzy again. This time, his consciousness didn't enter the scene. A figure appeared in his mind. Han Ju was stunned again. It was... D Tai Bai. That's right, it was indeed D Tai Bai. However, in his mind, D Tai Bai was dressed in a black robe and had a cold expression. Han Ju had no idea what was going on. D Tai Bai was a mortal emperor samsara? Did the heavenly emperor know about this? The heavenly emperor treated him so well. Could it be that he had discussed it with immortal emperor Samsara? Or could it be that immortal emperor Samsara had huge ambitions and hid beside the heavenly emperor? No wonder even though he had interacted with immortal emperor Samsara, the latter did not have a favorable impression or hatred towards him. So this fellow had always been his good friend. Han Ju thought of how Ditai Bai had said that he had severed the river of destiny. Thinking about it now, how could D. Tai Bai, a Grand Unity Golden Immortal, do it? Han Ju had mixed feelings. All these emotions turned into a sigh. Sigh! Forget it, forget it. I just need to cultivate well. Anyway, I'm not fighting for anything. As long as their plan doesn't affect my safety. Thinking of this, Han Ju became cautious and started cultivating again. Thirty years went by. Han Ju took out the Book of Misfortune and cursed the Heavenly Dao Buddha again. He continued to check his emails and paid attention to the situation in the immortal world. Like before, there were all sorts of conflicts. Han Ju didn't see any special emails for the time being. Han Ming's favorability towards you has increased. Current favorability, two stars. A line of words suddenly appeared in front of him. He was indifferent. This stupid brother wants to fawn on me? 
Han Zhu was completely indifferent. He had never interacted with Han Ming before, and he still had his memories of his previous life. Several days later, Han Zhu was about to continue cursing the demon emperor when he suddenly felt something and immediately took out a token. Golden Crow Token. Jiang Yi was looking for him. Han Zhu hesitated for a moment but still probed the Golden Crow Token with his divine sense. Sima Yi, I asked you to investigate the ancestral Magus Tower. Why didn't you do anything? Jiang Yi's tone was very unfriendly. Han Zhu replied, soon. There will be an outcome soon. Jiang Yi was furious. The ancestral Magus Tower was snatched away. Huh? Han Zhu pretended to be shocked. Jiang Yi continued, let's forget about this matter. My race has decided to send me to the deity realm of the Ruins of End. Are you coming with me? You can meet a Zenith Heaven mighty figure and receive his guidance. Meeting a Zenith Heaven? Han Zhu rejected politely, forget it, I don't want to trouble you. Thank you for your kind intentions. Oh? You're not giving me face? No, it's too far. I'm afraid something will happen. Humph, look at you. So be it if you don't want to go. You're making me look like I'm begging you. Sorry. Han Zhu heaved a sigh of relief. He was really afraid that Jiang Yi would insist on him going. If their relationship became strained and they became enemies, it wouldn't be good for Jiang Yi. Jiang Yi snorted. When I return, I'll be a peerless expert fighting for great providence. When you see me, you will kneel before me. Don't regret it. Then, I wish you success, Han Zhu spoke very sincerely, but it made Jiang Yi very angry. When had he, Jiang Yi, ever treated a person like this? This kid. That's it. Jiang Yi cut off the connection. Han Zhu immediately put the Golden Crow token away. With the Dao field around, he wasn't afraid that the mighty figure of the Golden Crow Divine Clan would deduce him through the token. The Deity Realm of the Ruins of End? It sounds very strong. I might be able to take a look when I reach the Zenith Heaven Realm. Han Zhu thought silently. He would definitely be beaten up if he followed Jiang Yi. Han Zhu continued cursing the Demon Emperor. On the other side. Inside the Demon Emperor Palace. The Demon Emperor was secretly chatting with the Master of the Divine Palace. There were only the two of them in the hall. Sensing the sudden curse, the Demon Emperor gritted his teeth. What's wrong? Is the Dark Forbidden Lord cursing you again? The Master of the Divine Palace asked with a smile. The Demon Emperor snorted. Myself, the Heavenly Dao Buddha, and the Heavenly Emperor were all cursed by the Dark Forbidden Lord. Why are you the only one who's fine? Don't tell me you're the Dark Forbidden Lord? The Master of the Divine Palace waved his hand and said, How is that possible? I've been cursed more frequently than you. I don't know why the Dark Forbidden Lord hates me so much. Fortunately, my mystical power is strong enough to resist his curse.